So my name is Daniel Blackburn. I'm a senior chemist here at Entex. And today we're going to be going over the dual distillation system, the operation principles, and how to run it. So this is uh, our Entex dual distillation module. What this does is it takes crude oil, CBD or THC oil, runs it through two separate stages of wiped film distillation. First pass here in our dual distillation is to remove any light components, any residual solvents. This feeds directly into our second stage here, which removes any heavy terpenes or res residue and out comes high purity CBD and THC oil. So today we're gonna run through how to operate the system, how to control the system, and how to get good clean product out. So everything on the system is controlled by our HMI. Uh, it's broken up into two stages, so first pass and second pass. So we're gonna start with the first pass and starting up the system. So here you have set points for all the various parameters of the first pass. We have our feed temperature, we mix, we have our jacket temperature for the first stage uh, wiped film, we have our wiper speed and our vacuum. So to start up the system, we turn on our heaters first and let them get up to the desired set points. The next step is gonna be starting up our vacuum system. So that's controls vacuum down to 2000 millitor. And we have two separate vacuum systems, one for the first pass and one for the second pass. To start up the second pass, we also turn on the temperatures and let those reach their desired set points. So what we've done here in our startup process is we've started heating up the jacket to warm up our crude oil to get it viscous enough to pump through this pump here. And the jacket temperature also controls the jacketed lines and jacketed pump head so we can easily pump and flow into our first wipe film. So we've also turned on the jacket temperature for the wipe film. And that's going to be our surface where we evaporate off our crude material and remove any residual solvents. We also have our chiller here, condenser, hooked up to our auxiliary equipment over there. Um, the jacket temperature also controls the jackets for the lines and the pump that feeds into the second pass. So in our startup process, we also started up our second pass heating loops. We have one heating loop for the inner condenser and one heating loop for the jacket temperature. So those two control the outer jacket along with the residue uh, jacketed lines and the heated pump head and the inner condenser controls the jacketed lines for the distillate receiving along with the uh, distillate pump head heater. And now we wait for it to get to our temperature set points. So now that we've reached our target set points, we can go ahead and start the uh, first pass feed. So to do that, we have to make sure this valve is open here. And this goes in from our first pass feed pump up this line and into the jacket. So to start the first pass feed pump, we hit start. And we can look down into this sight glass and we can check for flow. Once there's flow coming through, we can start up the first pass wipers and we continue to monitor the flow going into here. So now that we have our first pass starting to run, we're continuing to monitor this sight glass here. And once the level reaches about halfway through the sight glass, we can start up our second pass. So we can start our vacuum. And that's gonna pull down vacuum. We have a rough pump and a diffusion pump on this side to get down to less than around 100 millitor. And we can monitor vacuum right here. And we'll let that get down to about 100 millitor. So now that we've started up our first pass and our second pass, has reached our set point temperatures and we've started our vacuum. We're down at 20 millitor. Our level here on our first pass sight glass is about in the center. So now we can start up our second pass feed. So to do that, we make sure that this valve is open. That'll allow the feed to flow and we can start our second pass feed pump. And now we do the same thing. We look for flow in our sight glass. And once that flow is started, we can now start our second pass wipers. 
Once we see flow going into the distillate, that means we've reached a steady state and now we can monitor the system, adjust our uh, pump speeds to ensure that the levels are maintained. So we've gone over how to start up and run the system from this intuitive HMI. As you can see, it's very simple, intuitive interface controlling the entire system. And we have easy pump controls to control our flows. Yeah, that's all there is to it.